the draft regulation, the scope for the implementation of GHS in Chile, actually it's covering industrial chemicals, biocide, and also consumer products. And I would say that this is the only country, as far as I understand, that will be implementing uh, or might be implementing GHS uh, for consumer, for consumer uh, products um, within the APIC uh, economies. The timeline to implement uh, GHS is basically a year for substances that are in use uh, in the workplace, in other words, industrial chemicals. Uh, five years for, other, for substances that have a uh, different kind of use. For mixtures, uh, five years after the entry into force of the regulation. And for mixtures with other uh, applications, it's seven years. Um, so, as I was saying, in terms of hazard classes and categories, um, the draft proposal is using the EU uh, CLP regulation, um, and also, as I, as I uh, briefly uh, informed you, uh, there will be a, uh, the ministries uh, pretend to have a compulsory classification of substances based on Annex 6 to CLP. In terms of labeling, it is also based more or less on copy and paste. On, on the EU CLP, including some EU specific uh, sentences. And in terms of safety data sheets, it's based on the EU uh, REACH regulation, exclu excluding, uh, of course, all the REACH specific items. So in Argentina, um, GHS was implemented through resolution uh, 801 in 2015. Then afterwards, uh, in resolu under resolution 155, uh, they amended the, time, the timeline for the implementation of GHS in, Ar in Argentina. They are now basically making reference to the UN GHS uh, revision number five. And uh, GHS was uh, intended, or it was implemented in April 2016 for carcinogenic substances, PCBs, and some specific substances listed, listed in resolution uh, 743 from 2003. Then in January 2017, for mixtures uh, of the substances that were in the resolutions mentioned above, and for uh, all substances that were not listed in those resolutions. So it's kind of tricky. Um, in, the case of, uh, the, in, in, in the case of Brazil, uh, GHS was implemented in 2011. It was implemented uh, through Portaria to, uh, 229 uh, from the Ministry of Work. The, 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 the regulation itself also doesn't have the criteria, the requirements for the labeling, uh, labeling or the safety of the sheet, but they basically refer to a Brazilian in standard in that regard. Uh, in the case of Colombia, uh, there is a draft degree for GHS implementation. The final date for comments is the 28th of February. This uh, draft proposal is following the UN GHS revision number six. Um, each uh, sector uh, will determine on the date uh, that GHS will be implemented. And in terms of consumer products, it is also intended to be implemented with the exceptions of cleaning products. In terms of hazard classes and categories, also if you look at the, at the draft regulation, they don't make the, they, they don't include the criteria in the document itself, but just making reference to the uh, GHS, um, to, to the GHS. Um, also in case of the labeling, the container must be labeled. Uh, and safety of the seats, the how-to, it's also make reference to the annex to the, to the GHS. Uh, interesting, uh, manufacturers and importers shall review the safety of the sheets and label every five years. And also, I highlighted this because there is a provision to uh, provide information to uh, emergency responders. At, at the beginning, GHS in Mexico was implemented as a voluntary uh, measure following the MX R019 SCFI 2011, that uh, was based on UN uh, GHS uh, revision uh, 3, third. But in 2015, there was a Mexican official standard that make it, made it uh, compulsory. Uh, the scope is actually the workplace. 
If you look at the standard, the, the, the official standard, it doesn't have the uh, classification criteria. It makes reference to the voluntary uh, norm. So, and it says that that uh, contains a hazard criteria or what replaces this standard or, or at least the um, UNGHS revision three or a later version of it. There are ongoing developments in Colombia, Ecuador, Costa Rica, and Chile. They are all different. I would say that the Chilean case is quite different from the others. Larger regional economies uh, have already adopted uh, GHS, and most of these countries ha have adopted all building blocks from the UN GHS, which makes things the, U the GUS, the globally unharmonized system, rather than the GHS. Okay? So thank you very much for your attention.